sit at home. Namde Kano condemns ongoing attack killing by gunmen in Southeast. Hello viewers, welcome to my noble channel. Kano Special Counsel Alayi Makot disclosed this after meeting the IPOB leader in the custody of Department of State Service DSS in Abuja. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB Namde Kano has described the killing and destruction of properties by non-state actors in the Southeast region. Kano Special Counsel Alayi Makot disclosed this after meeting the IPOB leader in the custody of Department of State Service DSS in Abuja. Some people have been reportedly killed by miscreant forcing the five-day sit at home order issued by one self-acclaimed airport member. Despite opposition by the group, which my cause hometown in rural Lydia Thor, not local government area of Imo State Wars, also invaded by armed men who set market ablaze, destroyed properties and attacked his kinsmen on Friday. Government also attacked the Independent Natural Electoral Commission, INEC, headquarters in Imo State and Kitre at the weekend. In a similar occurrence, popular Nollywood actress Sita Uhe Iheme, elder brother Prince Iheme was killed by a non government who attacked Uwere Mbitolu. The attack was the third in the state in the last few weeks. Kano, according to Ejimako, was sad about the violence in the region and sympathized with the victims. I had a visitation with Mazen Namde Kano today with profound sadness. He received news of the staged attack of past few days across Southeast, including the one at my hometown. He asked me to strongly condemn the attack on his behalf and convoy his effort to all victims. Ijimako wrote on Twitter. This news is actually coming from Ijimako, not Ifanye Jofo. Because some of you claim that Ifanye Jofo is compromised. And while I've continued to tell you that he can never be compromised when it comes to this case of Mazen Namdekam, that whatever he has said is from Mazen Namdekam, what most of you have continued to lick your nose. Because this is what you know how to do best. Now it's all about Ejimako, not Ejiafo. Maybe you will not also believe it. And tomorrow, if the Edo respectable lawyer, Ozoka may still go to Nandekal and come out and tell you what he said, you also said it's a lie. When you see people doing everything possible to destroy, a great organization, they go to any length, especially when they have the money given to them by the so-called governors who have in our land and some other Nigerian government who want to destroy down by our means. If you like, attack the whole community from now to three years, you can't get there for that way. This is just a promise that I'm promising you. For you to get government to hear you, one is through referendum. And that is what we are championing. It's after that it does not have a way of coming before you go into arms struggling. You don't just carry go into arms struggling. Arms struggling, in fact, is the last of it after you have tried everything. And for you to go into arms struggling, you have to make sure that you are well equipped. Not moving around with you. some AK-47 and double bar making noise. I believe your so-called leader should be telling you that. But he's not telling you rather he's pushing you to your death. Or maybe when they come you run away and innocent people will be killed. For you to have Nigerian government where you want them. That if we fail in having Biafra through a referendum. Because even after the arms struggle, the EU will still come back to the round table. That referendum, you must have it. For you to determine, you cannot, cannot force people into something they don't want. And that is why they have been going it through referendum. Because that's the only way people will come together and know that if they make mistake of selling their future, they are gone forever. 
All these people you see today talking about that Biafra is not, oh, they don't need Biafra, this and that, is because you have not succeeded in getting a referendum. When you succeed in getting a referendum, you will see that all of them will run away and they will vote for Biafra. That is it. And if you use arm struggling for that, you will not still force them to be where they don't want to be. Nigerian government will continue to say that people doesn't want you. That was why you went into arm struggling. It's only when you try everything possible. Just like we are lightening the world, both the United Nations, both the EU, both the Amnesty International, both the war powers, and they refuse to do the right thing. Why they still continue keeping mass man the current DSS custody? That is the only time we will say enough is enough. Let's go into arm struggle to get our country. Since they have refused to make Nigeria a better place. But that time is not yet. You are not well equipped. That is just the truth. Mandela went to prison for his country, South Africa. They did not start creating different group because he went to prison. No. They stood with the group he met until the end of time. That is just it. But what I am seeing here is some people who are desperate and getting money from the government to destroy what we have brought to this day. Good things we have brought to this they want to destroy it. And when you talk, they will tell you all they continue doing is bringing out different things. They fought this, they bring out, they fought, they bring out. Who do you think is a Mugu here? Nobody be Gawu, my brother. You cannot teach me what I already know. Teacher, don't teach me nonsense. I have not forgotten that. Fellow told British government, teacher, don't teach me nonsense. No doubt that British government are doing everything possible to stop us. But you are aiding them right now. Because first of all, election time has not come. And Mazen Namde Khan is going to be released before them. So why are you disturbing people? Why not wait? If they did not release him before at least you start talking because I still maintain that this time around it's not yet for arm struggling because you are not well equipped that nonsense you parade around with in your hand is not something you use to get Nigerian government in check and that way British government, the war powers will come in and they look for a solution for a referendum. Not that thing you are holding there. For information. That thing you are holding there, I give you just two weeks. Nigerian government will kick you inside and you all will be destroyed. Then our land will start suffering again from the beginning. This time around, you have, there will not be any talk about Biafra. Some of you don't reason. When we talk, you say we are the one who doesn't reason. What do you have? Nothing. That thing I see parading around, or maybe you have some useless AK for example somewhere. When people are talking, people who know what is what talking, you people should listen and keep quiet. Now that Yaloj Mako has come to tell you the talk of Mazen Namde Kano, that he was disappointed. And I believe some of you will still come. Maybe you come here and ask me. Is Martin Nam the card the owner of Biafra? Or some of you will come here again and ask me. Another question. How am I sure Martin Nam the Kalu said that? Now you claim that a lawyer Jumako is a liar. Tomorrow, if maybe the respectable Bini lawyer also, Bini son also, also came and they say, this is what Mazen Nam Kalo said. You also call him a liar. This is how they know people who are irresponsible 
and they are fighting for something else while they are busy deceiving others. I know you that you are deceiving people, but other people, there are some of them don't know. Why some know, but because of what they are getting, they keep quiet. But that one consign them, not consign me. Like the news said, Mazen and the Kalo was disappointed in what is happening. And the time has come for you to stop all this nonsense. If you have grudge with anybody, settle it with him and stop destroying what people build because time shall come. All of you who claim that you are this, you are that, we are going to teach you a lesson that you will never forget. Do you think you can kill our people unnecessarily? Not that they die in front of war or maybe they die trying to protect Biafra land. You kill them for nothing and we will forget you. <laughs> you are making a very big mistake. Go and mark it one place. Unless you will leave, even though you are living abroad, we will find you. People are ready to get rid of you and go to life years imprisonment in Europe. I think I've come to the end of this news. Jay, Jeff. Yeah.